front row, made up of Brett Cressley and Timmy Buckwalter, a pair of past champions. Second row, Timmy Fitzpatrick, Billy Pouch Jr. Enough is enough. Let's go racing, Cold Cracker 72. It's going to be a manager tires kind of deal. 72 laps the distance. But you can't sit back and let the leaders run away with it either. So a lot of strategy going in here. And we will see how it plays out. Meanwhile, Cressley, as pretty much expected, leading early from the pole. Timmy Buckwalter chasing him out of quarter number two. And you know, side by side, they fire off a turn number four for the restart. And side by side, there is Pouch on the bottom. Cressley to the top. Presley getting a little bit of a pinch, but he still maintains it and leads the pack down the back chute. Jeff Strunk is up to third. Yeah, Strunky around loud and Reimert on that restart. Jeff pulling up. I thought he was going to go up to the rear bumper of the number 14. Pouch able to get away from him by a couple of car lengths. Reimert in hot pursuit of the 357. Tyler. We're going to see the replay here on DirtTrackDigest.tv. Strunk, yeah, just really up in smoke. Reimert had to be in that fluid. Kind of just gently tapped the wall or the, the guardrail up there. Pouch trying to hang with him. Can't do it. How about Tipple? Outgunning Creedon for third on the restart. Here comes the Ringo's Rocket. Ryan go down. Now to the inside of Danny Creedon. They'll go wheel to wheel for position number four. Give it to Creedon, at least for the moment. They're not done battling those no, two. No, you can no. see that go down continuing to do whatever it takes to get by Creedon. And just impressive to see that he came from 18th on the grid. And right now running up there in fourth spot. the high spot. side off turn four. Outstanding battle. Barry, we know what Perego can do here, especially when it comes to the big dollar events. He knows how to pull him off. We've seen him do it a couple of times in the last few years. And now he is battling for his spot in the top five. He's got it. Yeah, watching some of the Concy cars, namely Dwayne Howard and Matt Stangle. And guess what? Bolly Hartwig's in that top ten yes, as he well. Is. He yep. started deep, deep in the pack. CVD right there. He is just outside the top ten. No matter how it ends, yeah, he's made a pile of money. Pouch on the outside. Billy Jr. going to muscle to the front. Ooh, well, but he's, he's there, but up. not yeah. just yet. Now he gets the bite he needed down that back straightaway. Now he gets himself out in front. He is going to come off a of turn number four. Restart. Three wide for second for a moment. Cressley, Creedon, and Perego. Now it sorts out. Cressley back to the runner-up spot. Perego to the outside of Creedon. They're going to go door to door for third spot. Give it to Perego, but Creedon won't give it up easily. So now Billy Pouch Jr. assuming command of the Cold Cracker. He's tried many a time to pick up the big one here. Work. That's Boy, where Cressley's uh, manhandling that car now, and it's Perego that takes the top route. Brago has a run down that back straightaway. He inches ahead going into turn. And he slams the door shut in the process. Gives second place on lap 44 to Anthony Perego. Perego looks to have the quickest car right and now. He's had the inside track. That works for him and it keeps him out in front. Leaders are coming off the fourth turn. And it looks like Perego is beginning to make a strike. Yeah, he's there. 20 to go. 20 laps remaining. Pouch Jr. right down around the bottom. Look at Perego with a big run off turn two. Pouch drifted up in front of him. Yeah, Didn't Perego was there. He got off track a little yep. bit, but that didn't all deter him. Here he comes. He's it's going to be a pass it. for the lead on the outside. Left 53, and your new front man is Anthony Perego. Perego launching again off the bottom of turn two. Really good. Pouch Jr. hanging with him, though. Billy, oh, now he bobbled. Yeah, Frank Doran coming back out. We're back green. 19 laps remaining. Pouch Jr. digging hard, trying to stay with the leader. But Pouch having trouble getting that 14 to rotate through one and two. Oh, we got trouble. Presley was, yeah. was in a jam there. And now he's off the track. <laughs> Now, will Perego move up the track? I think Pouch got a little yeah, he edge may not here. Get the chance. Here comes Pouch. 
Billy Ouch beats him Going into right turn now. one. Yep. yep. Side by side he now, down it. the back straightaway. Back it. to the front goes Billy Pouch Jr. Guler diving to the inside of Creedon. Pouch dipping down to the bottom now, trying to protect the inside. Now it's Perego. Well, no, he'll run high in one and two. Billy's found something at this end of the racetrack. Running that higher line. Howard trying to close in. White flag waving. Yeah, one Howard. more trip around. Howard may still have a shot at this deal. They go down the back straightaway. Billy Pouch Jr. having the advantage by a car length over Anthony Perego and Dwayne Howard is right there. They come off the final corner, racing to the checkered flag, and it's gonna be hold your horses. Caution is out. Danny Creedon was slowing in one and yeah, two. Got that tire. Pouch is going to try and at least attempt to lead this one as he takes the brigade. They are leaning on each other big time. Perego takes it up high. Three wide now off a of turn number two, and Pouch gets the advantage. He slides his way into the top spot. Perego, one last chance, got a little sideways. Billy Pouch Jr. wins the coal cracker. Howard sneaking by Perego for second. Was that a race or was that a race? And we will now send it down there. Dino, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, your Coal Cracker winner, Billy Pouch Jr.